Hello everyone. Today, we are going to explore our world. Let's go for an amazing journey through the basic concepts of geography. The subject of geography can be broadly divided into physical geography and human geography. Both these streams can be studied under the verticals such as the Indian geography and the world geography. Firstly, let's look upon the main topic of this session, that is the geomorphic processes. The formation and deformation of landforms on the surface of the earth are a continuous process which is due to the continuous influence of external and internal forces. The internal and external forces causing stresses and chemical action on earth materials and bringing about changes in the configuration of the surface of the earth are known as geomorphic processes. There are two types of forces. First is the endogenic forces. Endogenic forces are those internal forces which derive their strength from the earth's interior and play a crucial role in shaping the earth's crust. Examples for these forces are mountain building forces, continent building forces, earthquakes and volcanism, etc. The endogenic forces are mainly land building forces. The energy emanating from within the earth is the main force behind the endogenic geomorphic processes. This energy is mostly generated by radioactivity, rotational and tidal friction, and the primordial heat from the origin of the earth. The second force are the exogenic forces. Exogenic forces are those forces that derive their strength from the earth's exterior or originated within the earth's atmosphere. Examples of these forces are the wind, waves, water, etc. Exogenic forces are mainly land wearing forces. Examples of the exogenic processes are weathering, mass movement, erosion and deposition. Exogenic forces can take in the form of weathering, erosion and deposition. Weathering is the breaking of rocks on the earth's surface by different agents like rivers, wind, sea waves and glaciers. Erosion is the carrying of broken rocks from one place to another by natural agents like wind, water and glaciers. The actions of exogenic forces result in the wearing down of relief or elevations. This process is called as degradation. The actions of exogenic forces also result in the filling up of basins or depressions on the earth's surface. This process is called as aggradation. The phenomenon of wearing down of relief variations on the surface of the earth through erosion is known as gradation. Now, let's see the geomorphic agents. Running water, groundwater, glaciers, the wind, waves and currents, etc. can be called as geomorphic agents. The difference between geomorphic processes and geomorphic agents. Geomorphic process is a force applied on the earth materials affecting the same. Geomorphic agent is a mobile medium which removes, transports and deposits the earth's materials. Examples are running water, moving ice masses, the wind, waves and currents etc. Now, let's talk about the movements of the earth. They are the movements in the earth's crust caused by endogenic or exogenic forces. These movements are also termed as tectonic movements. The term tectonic is derived from the Greek word tecton, which means builders. These movements are mainly builders and have been responsible for building up of different types of landforms. So, that's all for today guys. We will see you with new amazing explainer videos that will make your learning simple, easy and super fast.